Hello everybody and welcome back to the NID. Today we're going to get started building a hangar for our hog in that gigantic hole that you see behind me. Should be fun! Alright, so we're going to head on over there in just a minute here, but I thought I'd first give you a quick little update on what's happened to our hog here. Let's just come on down this way. So I've made a couple of changes to the stairs here. I got uh, some nice comments as well on the look of this in the hangar bay. So I want to thank both Domi Angelo Laloy and Matthew Ritchie for uh, the really nice comments you guys made on this. I, th I think it looks really awesome as well. So the changes that I've made here though, as you'll see, is, is I've moved the, 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 um, the button panel that I had here over onto the wall here as a switch and moved the stairs back one and put a uh, glass panels on top of here and on top of here. I had to put one here, right, so that I could actually put one here on a level up instead of level down. And the reason for that is because I kept running into the problem that I'd put the stairs down and then I'd come back in the ship from like either up there or down here. And, and if I'd put it down when I was coming in from up there and then I came in from down here and the stairs would be in my way <laughs> and I couldn't open the door without like going into a control panel and opening it. So I wanted a button that I could hit right here. And the only way I could get that to work is I couldn't have the the glass panel on this level, right? I had to have it up a level, which is why I did what I did there and moved everything around a bit to make it fit. Uh, so that's much more convenient. I think that that works much better. So then if we head back up, um, I've solved the problem <laughs> of our hangar door issue. If you head on up here, you'll see how I've done it. And I kind of, you know, cheaped out. <laughs> I put in uh, hangar doors, like the airtight hangar doors in here, instead of using rotors and all that jazz. Um, I'm, I am working on solutions to that. I think that this is a good temporary fix for now. It works. Um, and it looks kind of cool. I like that. And uh, I got a lot of comments on the door and how probably what was going on. And I think I got this like Drills 007, Nova, Cantra, Elemental Blaze 79, and Riley Epler. If I missed anybody, I'm totally sorry, but I know at least all of you talking about how when I had the, the rotor on here, uh, the the blast door blocks and everything on the back was counting as a separate grid, which I'd forgotten about, um, which totally offsets the center of gravity, so that's why I was getting the tilt. Uh, but I had some great suggestions on how to fix that, like using, um, like actually putting thrusters on the door itself, giving it lift, uh, as well as maybe even merging it with the uh, the back here, so when it's closed, maybe using like merge blocks or uh, landing gear and things of that nature to try and merge it in. I'm just really scared <laughs> of all of those blocks again. Uh, so I decided to go with this for now, and I think I'm gonna play with those ideas in a creative world and just test it out and see how they all work and maybe bring them back in here if I can get, if, uh, if I like the idea and it works and it's not gonna like destroy everything. Matthew Ritchie also predicted the death of the great cackler um, that destroyed so much in here on my trip over to this uh, to our new base here um, so yeah that I'm, I'm scared of those as well that they scare me um, we will we will bring the great cackler back at some point uh, just not right away I think that he's fun to have so Matthew also said that he uh, he noticed that the, the suspension on my on my rover here is really bouncy so I'm gonna have to play with the settings on that to like, this is just the normal glitchiness of the, the bouncing happening here. But when it's driving, it's really bouncing now. And that, like, my settings were really good before I added a whole bunch of extra weight to this thing with the thrusters and, and filling it up, cargo up. I'm going to have to play with those settings again so that it's not, like, bouncing quite so much. I think it's one of the reasons why the front end and the back end got hit on the flyover. Elemental Blaze 79 also recommended using the, um, locking the gyros on this thing, right? So that, uh, uh, it won't move around like crazy when it's like when you're driving it in one direction or when you're um you're having it sitting there i think that's a great idea as well and it's getting dark and this is right when i was going to go over and show you guys uh everything that's happening over here so i will wait for daytime and we will be right back so this footage was recorded a few days earlier but uh, Boris did not think i could get my rover up the side of the hill that leads to the side entrance so I thought I would show you guys how that went. Oh, there you are. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, oh. <laughs> you just splatted <laughs> yourself on it. I was trying to land on the solar panels, but you were going 
moving. I didn't realize you were moving. <laughs> I made it! Look, my rover is awesome. Look at this. I made it. I'm gonna drive over to your hole. And you doubted my rover, Boris. <laughs> I think I just asked a question. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like doubt to me. <laughs> okay, so the sun is rising, um, and I can see into the hole again. I moved the, the rover over here so that I could maybe try and see in it. Like, I was hoping the spotlights might help me, but uh, it really didn't do too much <laughs> in the night. Um, I, I also want to apologize for my voice right now. I, I'm, I am getting over a bit of a cold, so it, I probably sound a little bit different. Uh, so right now what we want to do is we want to fill, we want to start putting stuff into this hole. I want to make this gigantic hole that guy's home. Uh, that's the drilling ship that did this. Uh, you'll, I'll show you, uh, while I was waiting for the, uh, the daylight to come, Boris kind of just showed up, jumped into that, uh, flew it over there. This is also where he's, we're going to build the um, entrance is going to be there into the cave system from the side. And then he just kind of like jumped in his rover and whoop, off over the edge. It was kind of fun to watch. The other thing that we're going to do here is in the last episode, you saw us drill that hole straight down from the top there. If I turn on my GPS, you'll see top entry there. That's the side entrance. And then over there is the entry point, right? And if I just go straight up, hopefully I don't run out of uh, oxygen or a hydrogen while I do this. This is the plan of action. So that's the, that there is where the rover's going to live. And that's the side entrance right there. Don't kill yourself. Um, the plan of action here is a feeling I'm going to die to go from there. So there's the hole that I made, right? Go from there to there to the side entrance and then from there to the front entrance over there. Ba basically try and make kind of a right angle of tunnels and then right in the center there, uh, like down at the bottom, that's where we're going to, uh, start the actual internal base. And all of these tunnels will lead to that, which would be pretty cool. Let's get back down onto the ground. And... Oop. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Tried so hard not to die. All right. So, I want to, what I wanted to do, though, is get this to be a nice kind of plane that we can stand on so that it's proper with the gravity. And while just kind of standing where I think the best spot to kind of come in is, I think it's going to be in this bit of a dip here, will be the best spot to come in and make this kind of down a bit and then in. So I wonder if that will work because I, I also want this to be kind of level. So let's see here. Like I don't want to have a huge lip. Like if I put another one here and then just kind of come out, how tall is that? That's too tall. Let's head down into here a little bit and see if we can set one a little bit more off here instead. What is that going to look like? Is that going to be the same deal? That might work, huh? Kind of like an inset ramp right from here that we can turn into a nice little rant, like a, just a really even with the ground. And then if we just go straight back, oh, stupid dampeners. And we wanna go all the way to the back of this thing. Now the plan here is, is I wanna build a nice pad for this to just live in, as well as make it into a proper hangar. Whoop hangar door as well. So I'm going to put a nice big hangar door on the front, something that you can drive in. And this guy, I, I really want to get this guy out of the elements, right? Because I know we do want to eventually turn 
uh, asteroids back on. We're gonna wait until they stop coming through the... Oh, am I out? Did I, am I out? I only brought a hundred. Right, so see if I can get right back to the back of this, but basically like, this thing is huge, right? Like there's a lot of room in here. I have done a bit of creative testing to make sure that this will fit and it does. Yeah, man. All the way back, all the way back, all the way back. All right, so we've gotten back here now. There we go. Get onto this. So there's a kind of a basic line, and it looks pretty good, right? You can drive the rover right into here. If I make this all the way across to all sides using these uh, blocks as the ground level, then I'll be able to drive the rover right into here, get it out of the elements, and safe. And then my plan... Once we get this built up, is I think... Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Hee <laughs> uh, Yeah, so this is going to be a nice and smooth way in. And then I'm going to build a door that covers this entire opening. So <laughs> we'll see how that, how, how that goes. So I'm going to get started now on actually filling this all in with blocks. And I'll be right back to show you guys the progress. So right after I stopped recording, Boris showed up and tried to sneak into the shot with his little rover here and he got himself stuck. All right, enough of that nonsense. Back to building our hangar. Elemental Blaze 79 was saying that uh, we could actually build this hangar in on a 45 degree down angle so that we could like roll down in into the base and then have more room underneath to uh, to build out. Um, in uh, We had a bit of a back and forth on that one and uh, he didn't realize that we actually had like 1100 meters above us to build up to. So I think we'll go straight in on this one. Drills 007 had a lot of really awesome comments too uh, about the mountain base. Uh, he was he was imagining something like those ancient structures that kind of built their their cities and towns or whatever like right into the side of the mountain, uh, so like recessed into the side. And I know that uh, Boris definitely has some ideas of doing some of that kind of stuff on the side, maybe and even on the front. Uh, so there'll probably be aspects of that. Drills 007. He also thought it would be a cool idea to have a ramp um, and a road that leads from, say, the front to the side all the way up that hill. So we have that road mod on our server and we could totally use that to kind of make a, a road that goes down the hill around the side to the front of the base. I think that's a really cool idea. First things first, I've got to let off a warhead in the middle, so we've got room to turn. Is that like a euphemism or something? Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, are, are you are you about to do that? I want to be there. Can I be there? Okay. Well, I'm about to drive down there in my rover. Okay, I'm coming.
can still see your ship down there. <laughs> oh, hey, look oh, at actually, it. Did, Flashing did away. You bring your. Oh, things. no! Um, uh, what, why are you falling in? Because I went too you close don't. to the edge looking. Oh, no. What? That was tiny. <laughs> Did you just get a little pop? Well, I mean, it's still huge, but that's not a, nowhere near as big as I remember the other one being. Well, that was a fun little intermission, but now let's see if we can get this floor finished. I also thought it'd be pretty cool to have like a, a space station on the roof of the mountain where maybe it opens up, you know, canopies opens up and you can actually launch your rockets out of the top. I know Boris has plans to do, uh, to have like a launch pad on the on like the sea level outside of the front of the base maybe uh but maybe we can have our own little secret one that's uh, up on the top uh and uh, you know i can open it open up the bays and launch my personal my personal pleasure craft off to uh space vegas and the mean Was also imagining a tunnel system like like little ant hill that you know it goes through the mountain and kind of squirrels off in a whole bunch of directions uh what we're doing right now as i showed you before is we're, we're gonna basically we're drilling straight to a center point uh from both sides but i imagine we will kind of probably squirrel off that at some point or do some fun stuff along along those tunnel walls Alrighty, so here we are. So we had a lot of shenanigans going on in this solo quote unquote episode. Um, but uh, but yeah, so Boris showed up and, and actually helped me out do do some of this as well. He was uh, grind or grinding. He was uh, he was uh, welding all this stuff up while I was placing blocks. So there's a few of this done here, but you'll see that it's not quite done yet because we ran out of iron. We have absolutely no iron left. There's none left in there. There's none left in the base over there. Uh, so we're going to have to go on a mining expedition, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what this is going to end up looking like. So here's the full extent of the size of this thing. It looks pretty awesome. And this is kind of the arch that I'm just planning out now for the, the door, right? So I'm going to fill in that side. I'm going to fill in the top and, and around this side. And I want there to be like a, a big hangar door in the middle here. Um, and, and my original plan was to use the airtight hangar door. Uh, we have the 10 meter airtight hangar doors. Now, um, originally Boris told me that these things were 10 blocks long. So I thought that I was safe, right? Uh, but they're actually 10 meters long. And I believe that if we put one down here, they're, they're actually only like there's six blocks long. Two of those blocks being the actual hangar and then and you can't really see it, but they're four, they extend four out, or four, like, blocks that open and close with these, is my understanding of how these work, which means that uh, if I was to put, am I, I was thinking of putting, like, putting them on the ground, and then putting them on the roof, and then having them come together, and, you know, and if it was, if they were ten each, you know, that would be twenty blocks uh, in between, which would be great, but they're not. So my understanding now is that there's, on, there's only four, um, so that would be eight. Right, so we'd have an eight opening if we did it top to bottom, and if we went to side to side, we would only have eight opening from side to side. Here's the problem: our rover is big. It's a big, big, big guy, and he is—I believe—he's like 15 blocks across, 
and he needs a clearance of about 12 blocks up and down. And eight ain't gonna cut it. So, <laughs> I'm a little concerned about that. So, here's my question for you guys. So, so this thing is, is 15 wide, a 12 tall. That hangar door mod isn't going to solve the problem, right? So, I'm thinking that we need a different solution for a door. I mean, worst case scenario, we just leave it open. Um, but if you guys, I would love to know if you guys have any ideas of how we could make a hangar door here that would allow my rover to fit in and still close up and look really cool without, you know, like with, with what we have available to us. And now I know there's there's options for pistons and rotors and all these kind of things. Um, but there is weight limitations on that kind of stuff as well. Like they'll fall off, like the piston heads will break off, the rotor heads will break off. Stuff will happen if you put too much weight on them. So I was just curious if you guys have any solutions that could either solve those problems, even using some of the blocks that are a little scary in the game right now. Um, but how to do that. So if you could leave, leave your ideas, leave your comments down below um, how you think I should accomplish making a door on this that can fit that guy. And even if you're not sure how to solve the problem, uh, check out the other suggestions that are made down in the comments. Uh, they might inspire some ideas in you. And as always, I'll be down there discussing all of those ideas with you too. So I'd really appreciate that. And I look forward to uh, seeing all your awesome ideas. If you're new to my channel, I'd love you to hit that subscribe button. I have new episodes of the Nid Whitelist coming out on Mondays and Thursdays, as well as Roid Grab on Wednesdays and some other great stuff kind of uh, scattered throughout. And with that, I hope you all have an absolute great one, and I will see you next time. Ow. <laughs> How'd you not die? I don't know. <laughs>